a linux distribution that has taken a community by storm with its sleek windows like ui seamless con- compatibility across devices and strong focus on security and much more this os has captured the heart of many this os is none other than the phenomenal zorin os in our last video we have unlocked the secret of dual booting of zorin os with windows 11 now we are diving even deeper after installing this powerhouse we will guide you on uh, 10 things to do after installing zorin os so without further ado let's get started So the first step is to ensure that the uh, your system is up to date. So uh, open terminal and run the following command. So I'm going to open the terminal and here you need to type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade and it will ask you to enter your password. So wait. Now uh, this will update the packages list and upgrade any installed packages to their latest versions. it take much time depending on your inter- internet speed so i am going to fast forward over the fast forward the video to make the video short now it's time to dive in in the ui part So the first step is you need to change the appearance using the Zorin appearance. So you can Zorin OS provide a multiple layouts for the home screen. Uh, you can choose any layout you want. Uh, for example, you can choose this and you can choose uh, uh, any other layout options. So the another thing is theme. You can also select the dark theme or light theme and you can also customize this as per your choices. For example, you can schedule the uh, uh light light theme for the day and the night theme for the night. And you can also select um, many settings from here. Uh, uh such as you can enable the hot corner. If you swipe uh, uh, if you take your mouse to the uh, top corner, then it will open the recent uh, windows. Zorin OS offer a sleek interface but if you want to customize it further uh, you can install Genome Tech Tools uh, so open the terminal and here type sudo apt install genome tech tool this tool allow us to modify themes icon extension to personalize your desktop environment so for example if i am searching for twix as you can see uh, it will install twix application in your system now you can customize multiple thing from here uh for example uh you can ch- choose uh, application uh tab and you can access the application option from here you can also add places uh what it will do is it you can uh it will provide a shortcut for the desktop and multiple things you can also add the startup application so the startup application uh, can be uh, open automatically when you restart or turn out turn on your system on zorin os and here you can uh, also show the percentage uh, like as you can see uh, the you can enable the percentage uh, current percentage of your battery and you can also enable the seconds to timer and guys you can also hide these maximize and minimize button as you can see you can minimize it and uh, you can hide and show it and you can also change the property of double tap on the middle and guys you can also uh, change the double click and single click too now it's time to install some basic application for example vlc uh gparted and snap uh so uh, i'm going to install these three application using this single command sudo apt install vlc gparted and snap it will ask my password hit enter then it will install all these three application guys these three application are important if you are using linux uh, for example vlc as you can see vlc is used for multimedia uh let me show you uh vlc is installed or not So guys, yes, as you can see, VLC is now installed. And now, guys, uh, we have also installed uh, Gparted. So guys, Gparted is used to create the multiple partition, deleted, and you can play anything with the partitions.
and guys another is snap snap uh, is uh, like a, a play store of android you can install any app using the snap uh, for example uh, this is the snap website you can uh, search for any application and if you want to install it then the copy this command and paste this command in the terminal and it will install uh, uh, for example in my case i am installing sublime text then it will install the sublime text uh, in my system so let me install it So guys, uh, uh, Sublime Tabs is now installed on my system. Let me show you. So yes, as you can see, Sublime Tabs is now installed using Snap. Now guys, customize your default application according to your preferences. So open the setting menu, navigate to detail and then default application and set your preferred app for web browsing, email, music, video and much more. One of the essential steps to take after installing Zorin OS is to enable support for various multimedia format and fonts. Luckily, there is a handy package called Ubuntu Restricted Extras that simplifies the process. So uh, you can run this command. This package includes a collection of codecs, flash player, Microsoft font and other essential components needed to enhance your multimedia experience on Zorin OS. If you want to supercharge your Zorin OS experience and reduce the application launch time, then there is a fantastic tool called Preload that you should uh, definitely install. So uh, you need to run this command and install Preload. Preload works behind the scene by analyzing your usage pattern and intelligently preloading the frequently used application into the memory. So give your system a performance boost by installing Preload on Zorin OS and enjoy lightning fast application launches. TLP is a powerful tool designed to apply power saving settings and configuration, specifically tailored for laptops. To get started, open a terminal and run the following command and it will install TLP in your system. So let me install it. So TLP is now installed in my system and now type sudo tlp start to start the TLP service and immediately benefit from its super power saving features. Now to check the status of TLP and review the applied setting you can use TLP stat s and as you can see it shows TLP status is enabled. Want to show off your Zorin OS setup in style? Look no further than NewFetch. NewFetch is a delightful command line tool that displays detailed system information in a visualizing appealing way. To install it, uh, you can run this command and it will install NewFetch in your system. Now to uh, now type NewFetch in the terminal and voila. NewFetch will present you the stylish and informative overview of your Zorin OS system. It showcases details like operating system, kernel version, and a beautiful Asky art logo of, of your distribution. To keep an eye on your operating system performance and maintain its health, I recommend installing Stesa. Stesa is a powerful monitoring tool that provides you a detailed insight into your system resources, processes, and services. You can easily visualize CPU usage, memory consumption, disk usage, and network activity through its intuitive interface. Additionally, Stesa allows you to manage startup application, clean unnecessary files, and optimize system settings. Uh, you can install Stesa and have a complete control over Zorino system and ensure its optimal performance. So guys, that's it for our video on 10 things to do after installing Zorin OS. From optimizing performance to customizing appearance and maximizing power management, these steps will enhance your Zorin OS experience. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching and happy computing with Zorin OS.